Hi, I'm Braden. I've been a fan of Sleep Tokens since June of last year, 2023. I found them while I was in Australia for a vacation, and I remember seeing it on TikTok, and I'm like, this uh, funk part in the summoning was really cool. So I listened to the whole song, and I immediately became obsessed because it was interesting seeing a metal band put a funk ending to a song. It's something I never heard before. So I binged the summoning a lot. Uh, that was my most listened song to last year. But then I got home and listened to their discography. And never have I li liked an entire artist's discography. Everything they've put out, I love. I, I'm a big music guy. I play guitar, I listen to music all the time, and um, I'd never really found something like them. My last entire album I liked was Hosier's first album, his uh, self-titled album. And just the way they kind of blend music and everything they do, it's, they want to make good music. They don't really want to make metal music or rock music or pop music. They want to make what sounds good, and I think that's really interesting. I became totally obsessed. I racked up 30,000 minutes since June, by the end of the year. All my friends, all my family, everybody I talk to, I'm gonna talk about Sleep Token. I have so, <laughs> I have so much merch. Uh, I saw them once at Rams Head Live and completely loved it. Never been to a concert before. That was my first one and I, I loved it. I loved the atmosphere. I loved how they performed. They mean a lot to me through a lot of their songs. I can tell, I think we all can tell, Vessel really puts emotion at the forefront of his music. And I'm in healthcare. I'm a, uh, I'm a registered nurse. I have been for three years. So I have a lot of the, I guess, mental health things that came from Omicron. Working on those front lines, I saw a lot of death, a lot of horrible things. And being able to relate a lot of their music to that is what kind of helped me release myself from that and be like, it's okay to feel this way and mourn this way. And it's okay to move on. Especially, uh, Do You Wish That You Love Me? That is a big song that stuck out for me. Um, Are You Really Okay? Reminds me so much of a patient that I had. I mean, it really hit the nail on the head. Yeah, I think my, my favorite song is Euclid. I think it's an absolutely beautiful way that they tied everything together. I, I really can't talk enough about how much I love this band. I even, I even bought an eight string guitar to be like four and play like him and learn the songs and things like that. They've been a huge influence on how I live my life. I started the new year <laughs> timing my uh, the countdown with Euclid and the lyric, the night belongs to you because I've done a lot of self growth and there's more to be had. And I think having them and looking forward to their concerts and kind of what they do is a reason to have a really great year this year. There's not much else to say. I love the community. I love the band. I'm completely baffled still at the fact that I, I can pull up anything from them and listen to it. No problem. Usually all my gym music is, my gym music is just called Gains and it's Sleep Tokens discography. It doesn't matter what I'm listening to. I mean, they're, they're amazing. And I love the community. I love being involved in all the projects that they have going on and seeing how just cool everybody is, especially this project. This is an amazing project. Yeah, I think that's about all I have to say. Worship.
Hi, my name's FJ. I first heard of Sleep Talk and via Will, the singer of Lorna Shaw, the vocalist of Lorna Shaw. I heard his cover of Hypnosis and I was just like, this is a really good song. Still hadn't listened to them. And then I saw the Chalk Hold um, cover that he did. And I was in awe. I was in absolute awe of the song's arrangement and also the lyrical content. And so I went to watching and listening to Sleep Talking themselves. The first song I heard from them was Take Me Back to Eden. And for the first time in five years, I felt a connection to my children who are no longer with us, unfortunately. So much so that I named my eldest half at Eden after taking me back to Eden. Now the lyrics, no amount of self-sought fury will bring back the glory of innocence, really like brought it home. It just made me feel like my feelings are valid and it's okay to be angry at the world, but that's not gonna bring back my little one. And the whole funeral pyre thing, that made me think of rising from the embers and thus creating my second born child's name who is also in the log with us. Her name is Hazel Ember. So I'm so, so thankful for them to make me feel more connected to my kids because that's exactly what I needed. Like I'd avoided grieving for so long, for five years and now I'm at the stage of grief where I'm just like, I'm gonna celebrate the lives and celebration is what I think sleep talking is all about. Celebrating the unique, celebrating diversity, celebrating the hard times, celebrating the, the good times. I also absolutely love that the fact that the anonymous, like I love the fact that I don't know anything about them other than two's favorite song to play is like that. I absolutely love that and the fact that they've impacted my life in such a profound way in terms of making me feel closer to my kids who are no longer with us, in terms of changing who I am as a musician myself because I am a drummer, bassist and vocalist. Like just hearing the different variations of genres in one, it's just bewildering, like mind-boggling how that works, but it does work and it works because the band themselves make it work. Another thing is I've met one of, well, quite a few of my closest friends via Sleep Token, via Sleep Token groups, via actually going to the gigs and seeing them myself, like I've seen them twice. Um, since I've been a fan, like I've seen them at Radar Fest and also the London Rituals, which, which were absolutely phenomenal by the way, even though Vessel lost his voice, like the show was still incredible. And also I love them and they've made that much of an impact in my life that I've actually got a sleep token tattoo. Essentialism vibes.
Um, but yeah, I, I just, I'm forever thankful to Slew Token, to Vessel, to the Vessel X, to two, three and four, for just creating incredible music and music that'll stay with me for life. And thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart.
Yeah. 
increasingly so over time. I feel like listening to them only continues to amplify the appreciation for the music and the lyrics and the lore and all the emotion behind it and the palpable presence that it produces and that appreciation continues to grow. You notice new things and you really are able to put yourself in a completely different world for a little while and just be in that other dimension when listening to them. I know that when it comes to their live performances, they are the first artist in over a decade that I am passionate about enough to want to go see and 
to the point where I'm willing to go stand in line for 18 hours just to be at the barricade because it is that moving. Like seeing them live at a place like Wembley is completely an emotional experience because you've come to be so enamored with them and their music that seeing it right there that close and knowing that they see you, even if but for a moment, is extremely moving. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? So, Vessel can't sing, but you guys can. So you guys need to sing with us. We're doing the set. He's staying on stage. Maybe we'll do a couple of lines here and there, but he's not well. So, we're doing the set. You guys gotta be loud, okay? Yeah.
sleep token since 2022. And me and my friend had a fake sleep token like concert at home um, because we can get tickets. I eventually got my tickets and I headed off to London. And as we were queuing up, people handing out these little blue stickers to put over your flashlight to light up the arena for Atlantic. Such an emotional experience to be there with all these other people to worship, like looking out during Atlantic and seeing all of those blue lights, everyone was holding them up. It was something that really stuck with me. Atlantic is a song that really resonates with me, but I didn't think that I would be able to go and travel or be able to do anything. But I got to a point in my recovery where I could be there. Sleep Token songs remind me of the progress that I've made and the progress that everyone who was there has made. <laughs>
My name is Pink and here I wanted to give my thoughts after attending the Wembley ritual in December. As someone who had never been to a concert before, going from having experienced almost nothing from live music to seeing that in real life was kind of overwhelming. Definitely in a good way though. I've been completely fixated on the band since hearing War when it first came out and it's still nuts to me that I was in the right place at the right time to be able to beg my parents for tickets. Having to wait the six months for the ritual was made so much easier 
easier, but also so much harder by the online community. Easier because discussing plans like Project Atlantic with the blue flashlights gave us something to think about and organize for it. And harder because getting to meet so many friendly people online who all massively love this band as well just made me want to see them all in person way sooner. As for the actual day, I did spend quite a while worrying about being mentally prepared enough for the experience. I owe a lot to Sleep Token for the improvement I've had in my mental health over the past almost year, and in being so attached to them, I knew I was going to get quite emotional. As I arrived, gradually getting to see more and more people wearing t-shirts of the album artwork and things they had made as I got closer to the arena was pretty mind-blowing. It was so strange and surreal to me in that moment that I didn't understand why no one else was freaking out about it, there, that there were other people in real life that liked the same thing that I did. After getting through the doors, buying all of the merch that I was looking to get, and finding my seat, I got a good overview of the amount of people that would fill the room for the rest of the evening, and at that point the reality of it all kind of set in for me. I was really surprised to see two, three, and four new looks when I came to check my phone during the intermission. It wasn't a negative reaction, I do really like the new masks, but it all piled onto the craziness of the whole thing for me. As I had guessed before even arriving, it was a really emotional evening, especially after the announcement that Vessel wasn't feeling well and they were going to rely on the audience to sing most of the vocals, in which I pretty much threw caution to the wind entirely and stopped trying to record anything, just to shout out the lyrics as loudly as I could. I don't remember what point I started crying, but when Bloodsport came on unexpectedly to end the evening, I knew I was going to end up remembering how I felt then for a very long time to come. I didn't expect that I would ever have gotten to see that song performed live, and in all it was just one of the greatest things I've ever gotten to see, and I wouldn't change anything about it. I'm hoping that they continue to make even heavier music and just continue to grow because really one thing I love about them is that it's not just about a certain genre. It's beyond genre. In a way it's beyond time and I think it's what resonates so much with all of us, especially those of us who are creative in some way. Um, it really speaks to that inner artist and they have really pulled out that artistic inspiration which has been dormant in me for so long. So. I'm really thankful to the band, and I'm really thankful to the fan community, which has been so wonderful, um, both in person and online. So, thank you. No one does it quite like Sleep Token. It feels like when you see them live, it feels like you're the only person in the room, and they're performing just for you, which is really, really special. The music is magical. The fan community is the most positive experience that I've ever known, and the experiences they're bringing my way are absolutely incredible and it's just the most wonderful feeling and I'm very excited to see where this band can take me and my friends and what adventures we can have. It's very exciting. Thank you. Hello there. My name is Lonnie, aka Lonnie Mask. I'm the guy who created the new masks for Sleep Token. So the way this job kind of came about is I was contacted by two, just being like, Yo, bro, we need some new masks, are you up for it? And of course I said yes. And then, yeah, just kind of went from there. I had just a month, pretty much, a month and a bit to make everything. Because I'd just come back from America from Pale Fest, which is this mask festival. Check it out. And then, yeah, so I just had a month to make these things. So the guys came over to do a live cast. A live cast is basically making uh, an impression of their head that I can then sculpt on so that the mask will fit them exactly. So yeah, the guys came over, we done the live casts. I got help from my friend Dylan from the band Harbinger, amazing guy. And from my colleague Dan, he's also my friend. I work with him um, on a daily basis. Um, so thank you guys for the help. Uh, so we've done the live casts and then I sculpted the masks. I started off with twos. Um, so I sculpted it in monster clay, which is an oil clay. And that took me a few days. And then I make a mold out of plaster. 
which is the kind of like a stone material. It's kind of like cement. Um, and when you make that mold, you can then pour latex into it, slush it around, and you get a nice mask thickness, which is like this. Um, so for twos, it was just latex. And for these guys, it was latex and foam. These are just latex, but these are just spare casts I have. The actual masks were latex and foam, um, which just means it holds the shape a lot nicer. And then, yeah, I just painted them up how, however they wanted. You know, the inspiration for these... Well, for twos, he sent me a few different pictures of already existing things he liked. And, you know, he was saying he wants to have dreads and he wants to have this. And along the way of me making it, I was just sending him updates and, you know, contacting him. Uh, communicating, make sure it's what he wants. Um, same with these guys. So for his, I kind of designed it a bit, but with his influences. For IVs, there was a design that I followed fairly closely. Um, and for Freeze, it was kind of meant to be similar to IVs, but a bit different. That's why the, if people have noticed, which a few, a few people have, is IV and Freeze masks are kind of flipped colors. So, you know, it's mostly black here with the gold detailing on the mouth and all the, the filigree and stuff. Whereas Freeze is gold on the smooth parts and black on the textured. So yeah, I just have these. I keep a lot of spare casts just in case, you know, the mold breaks or whatever. So these are just latex. Just a nice thick latex mask. Um, I use Monster Maker's latex. It's the best stuff I can get in the UK. Um, that was IVs, this is Freeze. And this is a, this is a bit different because this, these are just masks, whereas this is actually a latex and foam master. So it's not just latex, it's filled with foam, as you can see. And this is in case I ever need to make a new mold. If I need to make a new mold, I'll just put a wall on this and do my plaster halves to make a new mold. Um, you can see him there, creepy guy, got the filigree detail. Give you a bit of a 360. So let's talk about the night. That's how the masks came to be a thing. The night was crazy. Um, so me and my partner went to the pop-up shop actually in Camden first. And we started queuing, but I was a bit like, uh, cause I didn't know, we had guest tickets, but I didn't know if we were standing or seating. So I didn't want to get there too late. And so we queued up for a bit. And then I thought, let's just, let's just go. The queue is too long for the pop-up shop. And I'd rather just, you know, queue early for the gig and get a good seat. But I was in costume. Uh, I just last minute 3D printed a, a vessel mask that I sculpted on my iPad. Um, a vessel inspired mask. Um, so me and my partner just went straight to the gig. Um, and really good seat tickets. So thank you guys for the, the very nice tickets, very nice seats. That was amazing. It was so cool to be up so up close. Um, so we were uh, left side of the stage, seated kind of midway. Uh, really close and you could see everything um so health came on they were really cool and then once health finished and they were setting up the sleep token stage i was just on my phone and then i suddenly see oh sleep token tagged you with a post and they shared uh, the masks so they shared the photos of them wearing it and um they shared the little teaser video on the official sleep token instagram which is really cool and i think it is actually their most liked or most viewed post on their whole account, which is pretty fucking cool. Um, something like 1.2 million views. Insane. So yeah, I got the tag. And I was like, oh shit, I didn't know they're going to share it. I thought they were just going to come out on stage or whatever. And then it was so cool because you could see like people in the crowd start looking at their phones and all like, the, you know, the hype started coming. You could see it just happening. The crowd, people going crazy. And then yeah, Sleep Token came on and it was just like, Ah, and fucking free was there, uh, which is cool because obviously he had to cancel. Yes, people were unsure if free was going to be there, and then he arose. He was there, and that was awesome. It was so cool to see him there and just see the boys. And my work was wicked. You know, definitely the biggest project I've ever done in terms of like coolness. But yeah, so that was the night, and then after the show, got to say see the guys. Um, just talk about the masks, the experience, and they, they seem to really enjoy using them. And um, a lot of people love them. So I guess that's everything. I mean, let's see what's to come. Hopefully some, some cool things. But um, thanks again uh, to Sleep Token and the boys for giving me this opportunity. I don't 
I don't think they understand how cool of a project this is to be able to work on and like to give a young aspiring artist an opportunity like this is really really cool of them so very very appreciated thank you very much let's let's see what happens with the future and enjoy my work Thank you. 